Commander. Oh! Look. Hi! Hey, I thought that forgot that there was like suffering any ill effects from the cipher. Scene there. Hi everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Guy Tanager, and I'm playing some Mass Effect, and I did completely forgot there'd be a cutscene there. Uh, I feel kind of strange. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. Really? If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. It's worth a shot. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax. Her eyes are so blue. Embrace eternity. Because that's not creepy at all. Those look like real video and real pictures, like IRL stuff, not CGI'd, which makes it creepier. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I, I never dreamed. I am sorry. Tommy said, "Honey." The sunny. images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Thank you. What you have been through. What you have seen would have destroyed a lesser mind. Aww. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. Great, of course it is. Now I need to find another beacon. Is there anything... nothing useful? You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Disconnected from the access point? I hope that's not anything bad. Okay. Now what? What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. Is it now? I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Yes. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. Do it anyway. I just need some rest. You literally have some to quiet. walk past her to get to your room. Talk to her, Liara. We're done. I will smack you. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Uh, okay, fine. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Hi, guys. Exo Jenny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Better off this way. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everyone, you bitch! Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Of course I am. Goodbye, but if I don't Commander. have to, I'm not going we'll to. be waiting for your next report. Good. They're not too angry at me. Even if they were, I wouldn't care. Wait, can I examine that? Ha ha! More experience. Okay, now we need to go talk to all of our peeps and peoples so we can ask them what they thought about the last mission. Yay! Hi, Navigator Presley. I like Presley. Have I talked to Presley yet? Oh no, I'll have to do that sometime. Joker! Hi, Joker, how are you doing? Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. <laughs> Sorry. Just thinking out loud here. <laughs> uh, anything else? That's support. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said okay, she yeah, was? Okay, yeah, we've already done this. The Normandy's probably too yeah, much ship. I have to go. Right, yeah, 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 have fun, Joker. Bye, Joker. Ooh, what's that? Gunner Station! More experience points. <laughs> So we need to go talk to our companions so we can get their opinions on the last mission. And possibly tell Caden to knock it off and stop hitting on me. I'm not gonna date Caden, it's not happening. I don't care how bad his life's about, I'm just gonna have to tell him no. Hi Caden. 
Why does it always look like a porno when you walk up to him? Hi, kid. Do you have some time to talk now, Commander? Sure. Let's hear it, Lieutenant. I'm always open to my officers. We've played it pretty close to the book so far, but we're a long way from backup. Okay. We've got some tough calls to make. Yes, we do. I'm just saying, try to leave yourself a way out. I've seen what cutting corners can do, and I'd hate to have that happen to you, Shepard. Commander. Are you concerned for me? It's a personal observation, Caden. I, uh, um, I, I don't want to step on anyone else's toes, especially if you're a, uh, if I have misread your interests. Uh, you mean Liara? Someone? You're referring to our young Prothean expert. <laughs> I think she's older than both of us put together, but... Yeah. Yeah. There's a lower deck rumor that she's, um, interested in you. As more than a source of Prothean data. Son of she's a, a monkey! You know, I have to... Lady. Now I have to freaking turn down Liara, too. Tastes, but, uh... I never claimed to be big on alien culture. It's not like that. My relationship with Dr. Tassoni is professional. All right. Only a rumor. But you don't have to spend your off-duty time with me. Not if you don't want to. Um... Okay, this is the problem. That it's not like that. Um. Sorry, Jim. I'm tired of this, Lieutenant. I don't care if you have a problem with me chatting up Liara. It's none of your business. Y yes. Sorry, Jim. Just had some static on my com. Got some signals wrong. It won't happen again. Sorry, Jim. Don't hate me. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Sorry, Gage. What's your opinion on the last I mission? feel bad now. I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharos. Oh, yes. They're cut off from the company. Yeah. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Sorry, Colony. I didn't mean to shoot the Exogeny guy. He was just freaking the hell out. Is there anything over here that can give me experience points? Ooh, big sleeper pod. You never see them use those things. Ever. Liara. Liara, I need to talk to your face. Liara. Commander. Hi. Are you coming to check up on me? I was worried. You look much better. I'm not romancing you, you though. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Didn't I already answer this? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Tell me more about you. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. Oh, and no, I turned the down myself Liara. in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, I'm especially such a humans. Heartbreak, I, guess. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. Such a heartbreak. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. We are pretty short lived. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable it's because trait, we live for also so an intimidating short. one. Intimidating? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. Because we are for anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There but... is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked Aww. into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. Ooh. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You look that up. <laughs> Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you, to understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <sighs> Liara! <laughs> I 
unacceptable! Uh, me or the vegan? You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But no. I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. No, I thought there might Leora. already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. Sorry. My relationships are none of your business. I apologize. Sorry, Leora, I love I you. Did not mean to cry, but not that way. I thought there was a mutual attraction between us. Ah, Obviously, I, I did not know as much nice. about human relationships as I thought. I just want to be friends. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. Okay, sorry. I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> I wasn't hitting on either of them. I just wanted to be friends. Why can nobody understand that I just wanted to be friends? <laughs> No. Okay. Let's go talk to my future husband. <laughs> After that heartbreaking little segue, time to go talk to the future husband. Hi guys. Hi you dozen. Hi Rex. Are you gonna be angry at so, me again? We've got Saren on the run. Yes we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Well, semantics, honey. I could tell as soon as I met him. You knew Saren? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Saren recruited you? <laughs> I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about it. Yeah, him. I would do. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Cargo. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value Food on that ship, Food and medical supplies, huh? It. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Until Still later. If I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Damn. So long, Rex. Shepard. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard. I asked. Commander. How are we done? What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, yeah, probably. Me too. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. <laughs> Later, sis. 
Let's pretend this never happened. Caden, hmm? Are you interested in the lieutenant, chief? Fraternization is against regulations, ma'am. Don't ask, don't tell. What's up? Oh, oh, I forgot man. about that line. <sighs> okay, fraternization is against the rules, but if nobody knows about it, <laughs> then why was Caden openly hitting on me? Okay, tell me about your family. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With dad on duty so much, I had to help mom raise them. Did Daddy. your father serve with the fleet? Yeah, took any crap posting he could get that offered space time. You know what? He worked his ass off trying to get recognized, but he never made it above serviceman third class. Wow, really I'm going to assume that's something low. First thing he did was salute. What about your mother? You haven't mentioned her. You must know what military wives are like. Strong because they have to be, able to raise kids while dad's away on a six-month cruise. She has a degree in planetary geology. She and dad both wanted to see new worlds. She gave up her career to raise us, though. You have more than of one sister? Did. Sounds like a big family. Yeah, I'm the oldest, then Abby, then Lynn. Sarah's the youngest. She's still in high school. With four girls, Dad used to say he felt more outnumbered at home than on maneuvers. <gasps> yeah, because that's five women and one dude. <laughs> Must be nice. You're lucky to have a close family. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your family situation. Yeah, that's all right. Or yeah, lack thereof. Them. Relax, Williams. I've dealt with it. Ask me to clear a bunker of armed hostiles? No problem. Dealing with the foot in my mouth? Not so good with that. No, nope, not at all. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Tell me about it. Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. Oh. Of course his name was Mike. A kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vid mails and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah's graduating high school this year. This was only a couple of years back. Uh -huh. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen LY away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. Yeah, no means no. If he really Boy, likes no it, he'd be pushy. <laughs> yeah, of course. If he didn't ask at all, I'd wonder if he thought Sarah was ugly. <laughs> damned if you do, damned if you don't. Just got a point there. Mike thought they'd go for Still a little romantic bit of a walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Yes! Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing Mom and Dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. Police. Why didn't you tell the police? She said it wouldn't solve the real problem, and she and Mike would both become household names. It was a small colony. I said oh, it was her call of course. to make, that we should let her do it her way. Mom was pretty pissed about that. You said all of your sisters learned self-defense? Lynn did pistol practice, but didn't like it. She's kind of nervous. Sarah took Aikido. Abby Aikido's decided fun. to learn the sword. She always was a little sword? weird. Sword? Likes big skirts and tops you have to tie her into. They do great things to her figure, though. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like me. I was like, ooh, medieval stuff? Oh, what about you? So, what did you learn? One of Dad's friends taught me Marine hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay, then. <laughs> you traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years. Like, a day's cruise. Only a dozen a light years. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around. What is it? Next thing I know, he's face down on the sidewalk and there's blood everywhere. Yes! <laughs> That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight up puncher. When he swung, she just... she wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and had me call an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. <laughs> Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was going to end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. 
The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Exactly. Interesting story. Your sister's something else. But you didn't mention your father at all. Was he on deployment? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't you don't want to live there. there. He has like, you don't want to live there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. Okay. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. <gasps> Bored now. Uh, you read poetry? I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at 100 meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. <laughs> Just don't spread it around. Ulysses <laughs> hey, I like to dance. Poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Aw, that's a really good piece. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. Watching? I thought you said he was dead. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you know, from heaven. Wherever that is. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Um... Of course not. Everyone has the right to believe what they want. Exactly. So in the Alliance Charter. I don't believe in God, but she can have fun. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who are really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? Because I get back science? To my duties. <laughs> Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. Uh, anybody can believe what they want. Okay, goodbye. I spent most of this time talking to Ashley. Ma'am. Woman, you are taking away my Garrus time. Garrus! Garrus, 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 Garrus. Hi. Commander, how are you? How are you doing? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm. <laughs> Just cutting right to the straight questions, There were several actually. reasons, I guess. Such as? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec. Oh, the best. guess that he had something to do I with it. hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. <laughs> I can understand that. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a specter when I was younger. Really? You were asked to be a specter? Well, I was targeted as a possible specter candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I, I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the specters. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. Unlimited power! Oh, like unlimited power! Oh. As I knock my earphones out again. I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. c sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Exactly. Yeah, quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. And I can't talk to him anymore! Why can't I just talk to him like I can't normal people? Garrus, is it the second game yet so I can romance you? No. Balls. Hello. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies. Well, Don't as long Pay you. Hell, the license is... Not right now, thanks. No problem. Okay. Keep checking back. Wait, I wanted Looking to actually talk to him. Yes. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Okay, what's he got? He's got some good things. I mean, I can get better. Ooh! I could have used this before going to Pharaoh's. Oops. And then last but certainly not least, Tali! Oh, Tali! Oh, hello, Shepard. You sound down. Are you okay? I Tali? I like you, Tali. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel 
out of place. Oh, why, honey? The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. Let me give you a hug. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? It's too quiet to sleep? <gasps> the silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. What, because it's not packed full of Koreans? I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Aw, oh, maybe you're homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. <laughs> They're just pulling, I'm like, to little quips out of the air. Image is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You're going back, right? You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. Good. But we have to stop Saren. Because you're going to be an awesome admiral Otherwise, when you do it. I might not have a home to go back to. Okay. Bye, Tolly. I should go. I love you, Tolly. Just See like I love later. Garrus, except in a very different way than the way I love Garrus. Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian, Tally? Yep. She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Aww. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you want Well, she is a Corian. <laughs> I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Aww. Let's learn a little bit about the ship, because I've got like Throw two minutes in on left. the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. Uh -huh. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. So we're invisible? There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels the rely space on is scanners. Big. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with faster than light travel? Cranking up I love the how FTL, she has to say the whole thing just so we know what it means. Pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Awesome! Cause I we're want to know awesome. more about the Normandy. By the she's power the of the Normandy. She's the best ship I've ever served on. Probably the fastest vessel ever designed. And she's the only one using the new Tantalus Drive Core. What's so special about the Tantalus Drive Is it full of Final Fantasy IX Unfortunately, creatures? it's about twice the size of any other vessel. Aww. Not only are we faster, we can run at FTL speeds longer before we have to discharge the core. Okay, goodbye. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye. I'll talk to Adams later. And that is also about the end of this video. Yes, I was wasting time talking to him. My name is Miss Fred's Hanager, and I've been playing some awesome I'll see you all.